Hey there, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my husband, Michael. You've seen him on here before, but this is a special episode because we have been married for... 10 years. 10 years. Well, not yet. We got married on 10, 10, 10. Um, and so 10, 10, 20 is right around the corner. And so we're gonna do a special YouTube edition of, um, I don't know, what do we call this? Put in a slide tag. <laughs> <laughs> how do you know, how well do you know your spouse? <laughs> yeah. So we are going to do um, some questions, kind of like newlywed, newlywed. Newlywed games. Um, we're going to do some questions. Kayla like... wanted to make this really serious and like sappy and emotional. And I said, or it could be like a game yeah, show. But I yeah. thought we should do this as you, you talk about your favorite memories and I don't hear you. And then I come and talk about my favorite memories. And then it was this beautiful like slideshow of our image, our you pictures. You picked the wrong memories. <laughs> That's what So what anyway, Michael has won and this is more um, game show style. So we're going to do both. Okay. All right. Let's jump into the first question. Okay. Where did you share your first kiss? Do you remember? On three. Oh okay. God. Ready? <laughs> On three. Yes. Ready? One, two, three. High school Rose football game. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Lauren I... Roselle's birthday party. Oh, no, I didn't know that. Yes. Oh, my God. So what was... What Explain was the, what how was there the can be a discrepancy, school, please. What was the high school football game? You, that's, where you, that's where you asked me... You asked me to homecoming. Oh. And that was the first time I knew, like, oh, my gosh. I think he, I think he likes Christian, me. KK, the question was about kissing. No, I know. All right, no, she's right, right on the first oh, kiss at a oh. birthday party. Why don't we talk oh, about oh, the first oh. time I said I love you to him, <laughs> hey, and he that's... said, <laughs> and he said to me, "Thanks." No, <laughs> he said, "I've only ever told my mom and my grandma that I love them," and he didn't say I love it you was back. A big step. <laughs> yes. I wasn't ready to commit. He was in my parents' basement. <laughs> we were young. So the answer is a birthday party. Yes. Birthday party. Okay. <laughs> I'm losing. <laughs> yes. If we're keeping score. All right. Second question. Maybe spouse. Spouse. <laughs> what is your spouse most likely to waste money on? Mm. On three. Ready? One, two, three. Bad Amazon. technology. Bad technology. We have these mosquito catchers around the backyard that were a complete waste of money. Those are wasp catchers, and Ed they've, is scared of wasps. They've never worked. It just he sees these things. Portrays the safety of. He sees these ads on Facebook for these techie things, and they they're going to be so cool. And then we get them. And we're Instagram like Instagram ads. They get me every time. Yeah. Anything on Amazon, Caitlin wastes money on. It's not that I waste money. It's that everything I buy on Amazon is ten times smaller than I thought it was. Gonna be. <laughs> everything. Or ten times bigger than you <laughs> yes. thought it was going to be. Remember the water bottle I got? It was <laughs> gallon sized. That is bad. What was it? You got a wagon one time? I got a wagon. I thought it was like it was for wagon. it was for Ash's baby shower. Oh yeah. And I thought it was like a real big size wagon. It was literally this. It was big. like a little miniature decoration. I was so proud. I thought it was so cheap, and now we I know why. still used it. Okay. Next question: The worst habit of your spouse. On um, three. Ready? One, two. <laughs> ready? One, two, three. He said sandwich. <laughs> Into that <laughs> Every time we go you, Okay, if we're gonna say that, that's a better question. What does your spouse say wrong? Okay, yeah. fine. Every time we come up the Chick-fil-A drive there, he's I'll get a chicken. I'll get a chicken sandwich and I'm like, oh my gosh. It's so embarrassing. It's a sand sam sandwich. I think I say sandwich. No, you say sandwich. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Caitlin says, instead of saying divorce, Caitlin adds a couple extra syllables and letters and says divorced. <laughs> and that's not as funny, but I like am a tea extremely self-conscious of saying that word because he's made fun of me for saying that word. My sister says it the same way. Yeah, you both say it wrong. Divorced. Divorced. Yeah. No. Divorced. <laughs> that's your worst habit? There's got to be a worst no, habit. No, no, no. That's not no. our worst habit. What's her worst habit? Um... He smacks his food when he eats to the point where my sister and I have left the office on work days because we can't be around It's him. not even just eating. It's like chewing gum. Yeah, it's just so loud. He's got a huge mouth um, and it just makes a lot of noise. I don't know. Caitlin doesn't have any annoying habits. Oh, so. that's nice. Hmm. You, no, I'll come up with one in a second. You really don't have one on top of your head? I've got like 15. <laughs> On top of my head? <laughs> okay, 
Next question. What has been your favorite trip you've taken since you've been married? Mm. This is kind of less of a one, two, three, but. Yeah. Ready? One, two, three. Hawaii. Maui. Oh, yeah. Oh. That Which was a one? Good I think you've been to Hawaii a couple times. No, no, no we, Maui. The Maui trip. Yeah. That was just us. We had two kids. So I think it just felt like more of a vacation because life was crazy. And we had had three years of just nonstop, either pregnant, newborn. Yeah. It was a lot. So we got away for, it was like seven days. No, it was five days. I asked <laughs> to go away for seven days. And Caitlin was like, you can have five days. No, it was seven days with travel. No, it wasn't. <laughs> oh, okay. We'll start. Okay. We're going to move slowly into the cheesy ear side of questions. The romantic Romantic. ones that Michael is trying to avoid. Yeah. Um, when did you know that the other person was the one? It's a great question. <laughs> do, do you know? <laughs> yes, um, of course I know. On a scale of one to ten, how sure are you that they are the one? <laughs> well, we have an interesting story because we started dating when I was 15 and you were 16, almost 17. Yeah. And, I mean, I would say... Dated for eight years. Dated for eight years. We don't recommend that. No. Um, but we had a season where we almost broke up. and Where Caitlin almost broke up with me. Let's get the story straight. I, yes, it was, we call it the, the dark. The dark ages. The dark ages. And um, I was finishing up college. He had been out for two years. I had started my business. I was kind of on this, like. I'm my own woman. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get crap for that. Well, no, that's that's, uh, that's, what, that's what it, I was very independent where I had been like very dependent on our relationship all through high school. And then I went to college, found my thing, started this business and just, w we had to grow up in some ways. And so this was kind of like a breaking point. I would say it was through a our turning worst, point, <laughs> breaking, a turning point. I think, I think our dark ages were when I realized that it, that we were supposed to get married and have a life together, which is interesting that the hardest season... Really? It was like that? No. Oh, okay. No, I mean, I think the journey through, process, through okay, yes, sure, is sure, when sure. I realized that we, that That's this was, was supposed to, this was supposed to happen and, which is interesting that our worst season is what made me realize that we should be together. So wait, so then when, when you came out of that and decided not, you didn't break up, you never actually no. broke up? No. no, Caitlin just stopped talking to me. Oh, right. Okay, so when Caitlin started talking to you again, you both were like, yeah, we're getting married, essentially? No, it was a process. We actually had this very dramatic scene in an airport. <laughs> Michael was flying home. I told him. No, we, so we had, I had gotten Caitlin tickets to go see Wicked in New York City. And we were going to go up and stay with friends. And... So she had been in school, you know, from that fall to that Christmas. I'm coming home for like Christmas break. Um, she, I, I call her and I say, hey, like, I know we're not really talking right now. We have these tickets that cost a good chunk of money. <laughs> like we can go as friends or you can go with somebody else. I said, but I think we just need to decide like when you pick me up from the airport, like what we're going to do. And so we're like walking towards each it other. It kind of became this like when you see me at the air, it felt like. This are we your, gonna yeah. are we gonna move forward or are we gonna like take a break like break up for real right you and, need to make your decision yes and there's a lot more that goes into it like i i he it was very sweet i was overwhelmed and just wanted a break but he wrote me letters every day basically in me pulling away he pursued me in a way that we never had to we just never fought for anything because right. we had always been dating through high school and it was so easy. And so anyway, through the season, we were, we were coming in the airport, he was walking and I was standing there and like, I reached out to hug him and we're both crying in the middle of the Richmond airport. And we drove to New York and we talked and had hard conversations. And then we started rebuilding, kind of starting over really in some yeah. ways. And then I probably proposed. A year, a, um, a, little, a little less, less than, than a year, year later. later. Yeah, crazy. Crazy. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? Wow, how sweet. <laughs> See, no, no, we're, 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 we're done with the fun ones, Michael. We're past that. We're yeah, past fun. Um, that's fun. Okay, next question. Thinking back to when you were first married, has your life together been easier or harder than you imagined? I think working together has been both easier and harder. 
Mm-hmm. Like when we first got married, I was a high school youth pastor and our schedules were literally like complete opposite. Um, so for the first almost three years of marriage, we barely saw each other. Um, so that was hard, but then working together had its own, it made, Struggles. it made like timeline and organization easier, but there were issues that came up with that. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's an interesting question. What do you think? I mean, I look at our life the last 10 years and I think it's definitely been harder than, I mean, on your wedding day, you just don't realize how much is ahead of you. And we are, you know, I'm almost 30 weeks pregnant now and it's our fourth baby in four years. So the last four and a half years of our marriage have been probably the hardest of our life. And yeah. so, but, but also there's a side to our life where I never expected our business to grow and expand the way it has. And sometimes that makes it harder. And sometimes I would say that has made it easier um, that we're getting to do what we love and do it together. So I think it's a, a mix. Yeah. How would you compare and contrast your first five years of marriage oh, to man. your second five years of marriage? It's funny. Some... I was about to say we ate out a lot in our first five years of marriage. <laughs> we still eat out a lot. We still eat out a lot. <laughs> No, that's a good question. You should introduce Caitlin 1.0. Caitlin 1.0 was the first five years of our marriage, and Caitlin 1.0 was incredibly driven, borderline obsessed with business and growth and moving forward, and that caused a lot of issues in our marriage and in our work relationship. I would say that while like the first five years of our marriage seemed to be like the most adventurous and fun and fast paced and we did so much and it was awesome and we like made all these huge strides. I would say that from a marriage perspective, the last half, the the last five years have actually been healthier in marriage. Oh yeah. Which is very interesting because from the outside looking in, I think a lot of people would think that, you know, what we've been through, that this, the last, that these would be the hard years. Right. But we, we were kind of avoiding hard stuff the first five years and just filling our life with things Work that were and, things that were still good, but yeah. um, but not like transforming us in our relationship. And right. so, yeah, that's a kind of a we like did trips. We like hung out with friends all the time. Every weekend we had shot something. Forty weddings. We shot. Yeah, we were just really busy, and life was really full. But now it's really full in a different way. And it's really hard now in a different way, but it's actually hard but healthier. Healthier. If that yeah. makes sense. So, is that a good answer, Ty? Yeah, that's great, guys. Um, okay, here's another one. What was the most exciting surprise of just, I guess, in marriage in the last ten years? Mm. So either, I guess, either a actual surprise, like surprise, right. or oh, this was surprising. I didn't realize that this was going to happen, or that. Whatever. Caitlin is, I'm trying to think of the word. The word that comes to mind is awful. <laughs> awful at surprises. What? Gosh. Wouldn't you agree? Yes, I'm awful at surprises. I, but I'm, I I'm not thinking, I'm thinking about this as. Um, right, well, he said like a literal surprise, and I'm like, no, there haven't been any I am not a, he does not like to be surprised. And I don't so like I don't even, surprised. I don't try. I would say one, a surprise, when we were, we were living in our second house, and we had written a letter to an old man to mm. buy the land where we're like sitting in the house, like where we are right now. It's like our dream place to live. This um, seven acres was not for sale. No signs or history of being for sale. And we asked him to sell it to us. And he called us one night in February, I guess of 2016. No, 20, no, it was 2014. Remember we waited to, for our house to sell for a year? Oh, I guess so. It was, yeah. So we got a call from him that he was going to sell us the land. Well, land. He, said, he said, people have been asking me about this land for 20 years. And he said, you just asked at the right time. And we're like, oh my okay. gosh. We called our parents. Um, yeah, that's a good surprise. That was, that was a crazy surprise. And, and it affects us every day. Like we love where we live. We're thankful for it. Never thought that would happen. I mean, we spent years driving around these country roads just looking for land for sale, and, and we couldn't find anything. And then we found land that wasn't for sale and s- somehow convinced. We put a picture of us with our little dog. 
we said, we want to build a family on your field. And he sold it to us. Yeah, that's hard. I, 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 my first thought is like to the kids, like thinking about those relationships. And I mean, we've always loved little kids, you know, and other people's kids and like friends. Mm -hmm. And, but having our own kids, I think is just mind blowing, like the love that we have for them. Mm -hmm. And I yeah. think we expected that, but I think it's a lot deeper than we expected. So, yeah, we've always said that our, one of our favorite seasons was our first year with Evie. Oh yeah. Like we, we loved taking her to target together. And I know that's so simple. It seems simple now, but when you have your first baby doing everything with them, even though they don't participate or contribute anything to the experience, like socially, it was just fun. That was a fun surprise. 10 years from now, you'll have a 14 year old, a 12 year old and a 10 year old. 10 -year -old. Oh my God. What do you think life will be like? when that is your reality. Mm. It will be, I mean, it's crazy because we don't know the gender of this baby. We have no oh. idea if it's a boy or a girl. We, I have no idea. I can't figure it out. We decided to wait to be surprised. Um, I think, I think you'll love that season. And I think I'll love it too. I love the baby season. Michael likes it, but he loves when the kids I'm get older. I'm excited for when they get older. Cause and they can participate. He can do yeah. fun things. Um, he took Evie to like stay overnight at a hotel with him when she was like two years old. And she loved it. She was like laying there with a bathrobe and smiling. <laughs> hey, I think you will love having experiences that they can yeah. do. That's probably so, what I'm most excited about. Yeah. And just that they'll become, they're closer to becoming adults. Like we can have good conversations with them. Yeah. And I think helping them discover their passions and, and what they're excited about, um, mm -hmm. We yeah. joked, you know, that if they show any entrepreneurial inklings, it's like, oh, we're going to encourage that and yeah. um, just to see what they're excited about and encourage them in that like our parents did. So, yeah. What about for your marriage? Like, what do you think will be true of your marriage 10 years from now? Well, I have said this before, but I hope that. I know this is not true, but I hope that our hardest season is behind us. I'm sure it's not, but um, I think marriage-wise, I hope that we are growing the way we're growing now, and we're healthy in a place where we don't get like sidetracked by the craziness of like Evie will be 14, like she's a, she'll be a year away from getting her learner's permit. And like life's just going to be busy, and I just hope that we will be committed to like each other the way that we have been it's hard to do now with little kids yeah. um i think what a part of our vision is we've always said that we want our house to be a place where the mm. kids feel safe to bring their kids to and mm -hmm. that our marriage their friends or their fr yeah not their kids <laughs> not at 14 hopefully <laughs> yeah. um but a place to bring their friends to and, and that our marriage could be an example to mm -hmm. other families and just have an impact kind of throughout their network yeah we'd love we'd love to be a place like our home to be a place that feels like home my parents literally just this week said goodbye to our childhood home and oh it makes me want to cry <laughs> um i'm pregnant that's why i'm crying yeah. but they um they built a house like that and um our college friends wanted to come and hang out there michael like spent most a lot my, most of his childhood. childhood there and i just i'd love to like build a a home and a a place where people feel welcomed and safe for our kids and for their friends and for our community and we are establishing that now but even more so when our kids are like in the pre-teen years i think that would be a huge priority for us yeah. okay last one if you could tell your year one selves anything about like tips or anything to pay attention to, or, like the number one thing you need to know, what would you tell them? My mind goes to our season with James, like how hard that was. We, I mean, no, if you had told me the newlywed like version of us, like what we would walk through, I'd probably think like, oh, we're not gonna survive. Like that is too hard or like it's just too tough and can't even fathom that um but i guess i would use that example in that part of our life to say like to the newlywed version of us that 
to kind of brace yourself that it's going to be a lot, but those seasons will transform you into what you ultimately have always supposed to be as a couple and will grow you and that's not going to destroy you. And, um, yeah. yeah, I think my tip would be, um, seek help early. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, it kind of goes back to like the first five years, the second five years, the second five years we have had, uh, an intentional third party transformational coach in our life that, that walked us through that season of James. I think that is a, a perfect example of how we were able to go through that with such grace and mm -hmm. strength that, that we didn't have on our own. That was kind of shown to us. Um, and with a vision, right. And so I think there was a lot of stigma for us when I was on staff and, at a church and, and Caitlin with a, a very successful business, it's like, oh, we don't want to be the couple that has a marriage counselor, you know, or yeah, we don't, don't want to look like we're not doing well. And that was just something that we had to get over. And in real, and I think I realize now it, we had a turning point a couple, two years ago when our best friends were just in a tough season. And it's almost like we felt nervous or embarrassed i don't know we were just like there was trepidation in like telling them hey maybe you should like talk to somebody like we it's been amazing for us and then they did and like they just had no like no reservation in sharing how that has transformed their life and their marriage and their family and the, the way that they work through things they're just they're so bold about sharing that and i just think we've realized like gosh we should like not be embarrassed about that, but like share with other people, other couples that everyone struggles. And we spent five years of the first years of a marriage, like of avoiding it and always having huge fights and being like, you need to find someone for us to talk to. <laughs> and we, Fine, I will. <laughs> and then we never Months did. would go by and nothing ever happened. So I just, I, I wish, I mean, you can't change the past, but I do wonder what we could, what hurt we could have saved ourselves from if we had not been so stubborn or bucked up against that idea, I guess. Yeah. Um, but I'm thankful that we have it now and I'm thankful for the impact that it's made and how it's, I mean, it's changing us. So that's changing our children. And I think God's using it to do great things in our marriage that were, we were always intended to experience as a couple. And I think it's sad to envision like, what if we never did that? And we kind of just, what, what, what would we have missed out on, yeah. you know? So, yeah. So this is not what we normally do on this channel, but it's our 10 year anniversary. We felt like this would be a fun personal video for you to get to know us a little bit better and to know a little bit more of our story. Um, but we're thankful that you tuned in and I'm thankful for 10 years. It's crazy, it's been 10 years. A lot of life has happened in 10 years. Um, but I love you. I love you. And happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. <laughs> We're actually photographing a wedding on our anniversary. So yay wedding oh, photographers. Stop. We, well, we talked about this and we- We've actually photographed a wedding on almost all of our wedding anniversaries. Yes. And this it's was supposed to be a day. year when we were going on like this epic, we've been saving for like this epic trip, but I'm pregnant and a pandemic is happening. So, so we're not going on that epic trip. So what better way to celebrate a wedding anniversary than to than photograph? A, than a YouTube video. Oh <laughs> yeah, I thought you were gonna talk about the YouTube video. Yes, yes, photograph a wedding. Yeah, epic trip or YouTube video. I mean, this is obviously the better choice, so. And to have Ty here with us. Uh, yeah, Ty, this <laughs> yeah, guys, is so thanks sweet. for having me as your uh, narrator. <laughs> yes. Behind the camera. Yeah, so. But we, we're excited to shoot the wedding. It's a, actually a family wedding. It's our last wedding of the year and it's the last wedding I'm gonna shoot pregnant. There you go. If you want to see another video like this uh, with different questions that you may have, feel free to leave those in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys later. Bye. 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 Bye.